What's going on, party people? My name is Cameron, and welcome back to Nights in the Woods. The last time we saw our famous main character, Mae Borowski, the cat girl, we saw God in our dreams. And today, we are going to attempt to answer the question facilitated by narration with the townsfolk of whether we are more than just our animal caricatures, and if there truly is a purpose to existing after dropping out of college. Surely a question I'm sure many of us are trying to answer. My question to answer is, what becomes of oneself after graduating college? I am not so sure. I have yet to find the answer, but I'm sure I will eventually. But alas, what matters? It's a wonderful morning, or at least it could be a wonderful morning. It's not very sunny outside, but it can be. But it can be. And that is okay. Uh, let's start off the day by checking with the computer. Check on with the computer. And seeing what people have to say for the morning. Nope, I clicked the wrong button yet again. That is okay. That is a okay. Click the button correctly this time. Is it the A button? It is the X button. Hello, May. Pickaxe at it. Me. You know the drill. <laughs> Come visit me. Greg's like, hey kid, snack falconing. Work, work, work. Till I die, die, die. And then, uh, Angus has got his thing. Come pick your fight. Give arrows flight you. Mess with me. You mess with all of us. Going to see the blank stones next week. Wonderful. I don't know who the blank stones are, but I'm sure they're lovely. We'll go downstairs to see my lovely pa Oh, wait, there's something else to see about the picture. Ellipses! Ellipses. Jeez. Feels like it's been years since I got back and saw this again. And what about the bird? Good morning, bird. Bird? Bird. Hey, bird. Things are, like, really intense right now. Pray to your bird gods for me, my soul, bird. We're all trying to find answers. We need answers. I need answers. Mama, are you in here? And then I'll see you at the church later. Probably. See you at the church. Good morning. There's my little sunshine daisy. That is a bit much. That's a bit much for the morning, I'll admit that. Are you feeling any better from the other day? Sleeping a lot, but feeling worse somehow? Okay, well, I'm going to make you an appointment with Dr. Hank. Oh, jeez, Mom, it's fine. That's the doctor who told us to repress our anger issues. We don't need that. It's very much not fine, hon. I'm an adult! I can make that decision. When you're here, you're still my baby. And I'm making you an appointment. May, hon, I'm worried about you. I'm okay, Mom. Sursla, I'm just fine. Listen, I keep thinking about money problems. And the house. And I'm... Just so sorry. You, we, we wouldn't be in this situation if I wasn't such a massive screw-up. I just want to fall into a pit and die right about now. May, it's okay. Really, we'll figure something out. This isn't on you to fix. I'm sorry if I made it seem that way. What's done is done, and we're a family together regardless. Please stop worrying about it. Whatever happens, I love you, and I need you to know that. Oh, I need you to know that, Mom. You too. Ellipses. <sighs> I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry so sad. Okay, I'm gonna go. You sure you don't want to stay home and rest? Nah, I got stuff to do. What is it that you have to do? I don't even know, honestly. Oh, hon. Please take it easy. I will. Love you. I love you too. But what else do you have to say, Mom? Tell me more. I keep the really good prescription headache meds on my nightstand. I can, like, give you half of one if you want. Only half? Honey, you're... You know... Sh short? Y you want to come right out and say it that I'm short? Because I am. I am short. I'm a very short individual. Half would be fine. 
it's fine, mom. I've got like the internal metaphorical height of an adult because I'm an adult. Okay, well, let me know if I can be of any help. Thanks, mom. You know what you could help him with, mom? Give him one of them full headache medications. It's time to consume. Good morning, Oreo. Oh, that is hot tea. You know what? We're going for the water. The tea, the tea is not yet. The tea is not yet of consumable level this morning. Not just yet. We're almost there, though. So let's get for it. Let's get for it. Eventually, that will cool down. I just have a very, very sensitive mouth, I suppose. It's always been the case. My fiance always made fun of it. Because she's got like, she's got like a mouth that can't feel anything. So we'll get like hot chocolate from pretty much anywhere. And she'll be like, oh, I can just drink it straight up as soon as it comes out. And I'm like, I gotta, I gotta enjoy my time for like at least five to seven minutes. Like I can't not enjoy first just the presence of the coffee or whatever it is I'm drinking before drinking it. <laughs> or you passed out early after yesterday's mess of LMAO of glory. 12 hours of Resident Evil Village. Oh my goodness. Did you meet, did you meet big vampire lady? Large, tall vampire lady? I've heard it's, heard it's pretty good. I haven't watched anybody play through it yet. I don't know why I haven't. Oh God, Aunt Molly. What do you want? And any words for us? Hello to you too, May. Well, I wanted to let you know we ran a test on that arm you guys found a few days back. Oh, really? Oh, now this is interesting. Yeah, I thought you'd be interested is all. Definitely. Definitely in, definitely into that arm that I wanted to hear about. Arm belonged to a middle-aged man and medium build, and he was dead when it was removed. Whoa! That means... Doesn't mean anything yet. Just thought you'd like to know. You always liked detective stories when you were a kid. Okay, yeah. Yeah, thanks. This ghost is seriously messed up. Ghost? Wasn't no ghost involved in this, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, nobody believes me. I get it. <laughs> You're one of the people who don't believe me, so you wouldn't understand. Be careful, May. Strange stuff going on. Yeah, you're telling me. Dead people's arms being removed? And then left outside of the diner? Have a nice evening, May. Yeah, yeah, you too. You too, Aunt Molly. Oh, damn, you beat the game the other night? Oh, 12 hours is all it takes. Nice. All I know about that game, so actually, I don't know. You know what? It's too, it's too new. It's too new for me to say things like this. But all I know is something about the Dimitrescu sisters and whatnot. And, you know, I think everybody knows that Big Mama Dimitrescu is vampire. But there's a little more secrets about the, uh, the, the, the sisters and whatnot. They're not necessarily human, from what I've been told. I wouldn't know yet. I haven't played it yet, but it seemed pretty good. Oh, so you started on a Monday and then did the 12-hour yesterday to beat it all up. Nice. Hey, Selmers. Jeez. May, are you, may, are you sick? Nah, I'm not sick. Just considering vampires, ghosts, and all things paranormal. Just tired. Got a headache. Nope, still not cold enough. Just tired. Got a headache. Why are you out running around? I'll get over it. Yeesh. Take it easy, neighbor. Can do. Want to hear a new poem? Yes, I always want to hear your poetry. The stars, the stars, like lights on cars, drive across the dark and never park. It's true, they're they're like that. They do that. I got one ready for last night. Ready, got one ready for longest night. Oh, what is longest night? Longest night, longest night. Night's so dark. But stars so bright. Nice. Thanks. I'm feeling festive. What is Longest Night? I was actually just looking at the extras menu before I started the game today, and apparently there is an option to replay whatever Longest Night is. I don't know what Longest Night is. So I have no idea what to be expecting from that. Whatever it may be. Time to see what everyone else is up to in the town. By hanging around the light poles. Light poles? Electrical poles? Electrical poles. The poles of electricity, which I've been told I'll get arrested if I continue to bounce on them. But we'll see. We'll see about that. We'll see if getting arrested is really a thing. Yo, what's up there, Fisher dude? 
Will tunnel fish be always there? Will tunnel drain canal be bare? I won't miss. I would miss the tunnel fish. To have them back would be my wish. Are they gonna drown, drain the tunnel or something? No, no, it's poetry. Okay, I'm just just making stuff up. Please don't listen. I feel like he would have been a lot more exacerbated than that. I feel like that fisherman is the kind of guy where you tap him on the shoulder and you're just like, excuse me, sir, and he gets totally freaked out and he just bursts into poetry. <laughs> excuse me, sir, what are you doing then? Oh, roses are red, violets are green, your face is green and also not. And you're like, all right, nice. Sorry to disturb you, sir. Please go back to your fishing. All the teenagers are not down here. Oh, well, unfortunate. One moment as I text my fiance wance wance. That sounded weird. Mm-hmm. She's off taking a final right now. Or may have just finished the final. So I need to keep myself up to date with what's going on. What's up, dudes? <laughs> Walks away slowly from the fisherman. Alright, I'm just gonna go that way then. Well, that's it. Ship it out tomorrow. Can't believe you actually landed the new job. Yep, moving on to better things. Uh, kids excited? Oh yeah, they'll love it. Might take a little while though. <laughs> well. Yep. Yep. Ellipses. Ellipses. Maybe just one more, huh? Yeah, one more. Go smelters! God damn. I'm a morning person, aren't I? I need some of that energy. Do you feel like some of that energy? You feel like a snail. Take some of this energy from me. Basically, I am not a morning person until after my morning shower. After I get that shower, after you feel the hot water, you just feel like all the sins of the evening have just been washed off of you. It just it just comes at me. It does. That or it's it's artificial energy. I don't exactly know where it comes from. Some would say it's voodoo magic. I could very much believe that it's voodoo magic, for all we know. I wouldn't know, though. Not off the top of my head. I'd have to look a little bit deeper to see what kind of incantations are being chanted in the alleyways surrounding my apartment. Let's take a look at the snack, Falcon. What's Greg up to? Hey, Greg, how you doing? You don't have, you don't have smoothies on your ears. I always imagine you with smoothies on your ears. Is it also, like, a coincidence that you're, like, you're, like, Foxy? Are you Foxy? Because this guy back here is also foxy. Or maybe you're not foxy. What animal are you? I don't know. I feel like I know what animal is small, fox-like, and has big fangs. Let's see. Hey, man. Hey. How are you holding up? Got a splitting headache. Feel like I've barely slept. Even though I've slept a lot. Jeez, you okay? I don't know. Can I do anything? Kill me? Wake me up? Wake me up! Wake me up inside! Your friend's like that. Puts on the playlist, starts singing like, Can you share? I want to crash on my desk. And then wake up for work in the morning and then just still hate it. I wake up... I think the only work that I wind up waking up to is stuff that... I mean, it's... It's it's a tough... It's a, it's not it's not tough. It's, a, it's not tough what I wind up doing nowadays. But, like, I gotta... I'm in a transition period. So, like, I used to wake up to doing, like, schoolwork and whatnot, and then working on schoolwork for the entire rest of the day, while also doing freelance stuff on the side, and now I wake up and I'm like, you know what, is it a stream day? It's a stream day. Let's go for the stream day. And if not, I'm like, what do I do now? And it's mostly looking for opportunities of where to go next. But you should kill me, Greg. You should. Bang! I shot you. Well, well thanks, Greg. I don't feel any more dead now, but thank you for at least trying. So what are you up to today? I'm just saying, hey, just stopping by, snacking Falcon, 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 Snalkin, Falcon, Snalkin, yeah, hey, oh, okay, I came by to say hey, and then you said hey, okay, I'm gonna check out everybody else so far, I'm gonna see what Angus is up to at the video 2, or video outlet 2, video outlet 2, video outlet 2, oh, I could go in there, nah, there's no sense going in there, that just gets me up to the roof, it's an easy way to get up to the roof of the town, for a bird's eye view. Angus. My buddy Angus. What's up, my pal? So, I... I said I could, like, take you up to the park. You did indeed. I'm so tired. 
You gonna be okay? Yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. You up for this park trip? Not yet. I need to go say hello to Beatrice at the old pickaxe. God, I have so much responsibility. Dropping out of college and coming back home to see my friends. I have to see all my friends. I felt very similar last summer. Uh, the, the way that my uh, university worked was you would have classes in the summer as well. But because of the way I was able to finagle my schedule around, I was able to have last summer off. And so when I was at home, I felt like, I mean, it was in mid-pandemic, so I couldn't do this like every single day. But I felt like it was my, my duty to at least make, uh, make communication with all my friends who were also at home at least once a week. Because that's the, I feel like that's a responsibility because I haven't seen them since like high school and being able to spend the time with them. So it's, that's what I had to do when I went home. And now May's doing the same thing with her pals from whatever, grade school or whatever. So what's up, B? Whoa. Whoa! Dude, are you like, okay? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Sure. I guess I look like I am tired. I'm tired. I had a headache for days. You should like go home and wet rest. I, I feel like you'd be able to like veg out pretty well. <laughs> nah, 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 I'm fine. No vegetable today. Doing stuff, uh, it helps. How are you feeling about the whole ghost thing? Ghost! Ghost! Bad. Very bad about the ghost. I mean, since it happened, I don't feel rested in the morning. Like, at all. Who's the ghost? What's the ghost that they're talking about? It's the ghost in... Uh, it was the historical society. Because there was definitely a ghost in there. Or, or, or God in my dreams. And, and I feel like someone else is in my head. And my skull is going to explode and... So yeah, not good then? No, not at all. Hmm. Did you still, like, want to check out the graveyard? Oh, do I want to do graveyard? Oh, oh, you know what? No, 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 no. I'm gonna go with Angus. I never get to hang with Angus. Okay, well, let me know. I'm gonna go hang with Angus. We're going to the park to investigate they get that ghost. We're trying to investigate many different areas of the town because we think there's something strange going on, something paranormal going on. And so we've checked out the old historical society where we heard many, many sounds and it sounded like somebody was chasing us or it seemed like somebody was chasing us because like the elevators were running even when we were not in the elevators. And so that felt pretty ghost-like. That or at night security guard. And we also need to check out the graveyard and the park. The park because I think that's that's where people were killed. That's where a massacre occurred. And then the graveyard because like dead people. So I said I could like take you up to the park. Yes, we will go to the park. Angus, you and I will go to the park. You up for this park trip? Yeah. I'm excited. Are you? Yeah, we, like, never hang out. That's true. That's exactly what I think. Ghost hunting with Angus. So you think the guy you saw was a ghost? Not a guy. A ghost. Oh, there's also another thing, too. There was this dude who came by and, like, picked up some young person and then just ran and then went through the... Yeah, they're gone now. Probably a ghost. It was a ghost. Right. Why does no one believe me that it was a ghost? It seemed so ghost-like. Well, I mean, ghosts don't actually exist. I'm pretty sure they do. Well, I'd need evidence. What counts as evidence? A ghost walking up and saying, Hello. And me saying, Hey, I've verified you are a dead person. Could be a zombie. Or a Frankenstein. Okay, maybe if they're made of ghosty stuff. You know, ectoplasm. Ghosty stuff can be our podcast about ghosts. This episode of Ghosty Stuff brought to you by Donut Wolf. Welcome to Ghosty Stuff. I'm May, and I saw ghosts, and this is Angus, who doesn't believe me. I'm Angus, and this is May. She's a crazy person. Let's make our way to the park. <laughs> Ticket to the park! <laughs> nice evening. Yeah, it's all right. My mom used to take me up here to up us up here to play frisbee. I got hit in the teeth with a frisbee once. Full speed. Thwack! Right in there. Did not make the classic sound. More like a, a thump. Cuz cuz my mouth was closed. My mouth was closed and then but it hit my teeth underneath. Jeez. Casey and me were throwing things at each other's heads. Oh. We stopped after the frisbee. Oh, this is a lovely little park. Like those trees? Like those trees? Like those bulletin boards? Posted. Do not feed or touch the wildlife. Oh, <laughs> that seems pretty extreme. 
clearly you shouldn't clearly we shouldn't be touching or making contact with any of the wild animals out here because we a higher level of animal than them must not touch the underlings there's some folks living in cabins up here you can uh feed and touch them if you want i suppose i would never do so myself ellipses it's a weird old place up here there's all kinds of weird stuff back up in the park old stuff just hanging out in the woods we'll hit my old scout camp on the way up i think busy woods <laughs> busy woods okay better get going before it gets dark <laughs> let's go but there's is there anything else on the billboard no of course not but of course not making a way around the park can i go up here nope what is this what is this anyway is it a building? I'll just run ahead. You stay back, Angus. You, I'll go, I'll go scat out ahead. Unless, if I go too far, he may be stolen. You know what? No, 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 no. Let's, let's walk together. We'll walk together in case some uh, paranormal ectoplasmic person were to come by and just snag you from me. Love this. <sighs> you alright? Yeah. I got asthma is all. Sorry, you gotta wait for me. You had an inhaler? Like, didn't you run cross country back? Yeah, wait, did you run cross country back in junior high? This is the first time here. Yeah, but I never finished a race. Why'd you keep doing it? I have no idea. What is this thing? This is like a lime kiln, I think. Limes? No, 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 no. Like, like limestone. But I'm going to ask about limes anyway, because I want to hear Angus explain it to me. Limestone. Oh, this guy's so smart. You, like, do something with it in there, and it becomes this other thing. Oh! Limestone's weird because, like, it's mostly made of skeletons of sea creatures from millions of years ago. So, like, this was all underwater or something at some point. Whoa! No way! I mean, rocks don't lie. Geology is, uh, not a science of falsities. Like, right where we're standing... There were, like, ancient, horrible sea monsters. Creepy and also awesome. That's history for you. Okay, I am ready to go. But I want to hang in the lime kiln. Or see what's this way. Nope, okay, we're going to go up. Eventually, I will reach you. Angus, Angus, my boy. Angus, my boy. Where'd you... That was fast. You were really fast that time. Oh. <sighs> Need to take a break? I'm okay, I'm okay. No problem. <sighs> so, if this place was underwater, where'd all the water go? Why aren't there, like, ancient shark bones here? Where'd all the water go, Angus? Tell me. I don't know. To the ocean, I guess. And, like, the earth is always shifting, so mountains get all pushed up. Where it used to be just flat ground. Weird, because things are so boring nowadays. To think that all that crazy stuff was going on here. There's always more weird stuff that happened. To find out about later. Okay, I'm ready to go. Cool, cool. Cool, let's, let's keep on going. More lime, more lime. More lime kiln. Let's keep on going, Mr. Cross Country Bear. Another lime kiln. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Puff, puff. Seriously, it's fine. I having just just hang for a minute. It's okay. Okay. I I should know all this stuff about like ancient sea creature rock or whatever. Lime. Stone. I was gonna take a class on dinosaurs back at school. What happened? It was all full up. That class fills up fast. I bet. I love dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are like the most interesting animals. You know, they had feathers. Or some of them. I know, right? Big freaky chickens. Things were so scary and cool back then. We die in like five minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, ancient creatures would eat us. Absolutely no problem. Be glad for the millions of years between us. Weird. Time, dude. Time's a funny, funny thing. Time makes most dangerous things less dangerous. 
overtime. Most things, at least. Okay. You ready to roll? Yeah. We're almost at the top anyways. Me and my asthma friend are walking up the hill. His name Angus. Introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Angus. My name's Angus, and I have asthma. I do not personally have asthma. However, my mother does. And uh, probably some of my friends from high school. I liked, I liked to run in high school. Not like any extracurricular running, but like around the track, I'd be that guy who ran. Because cause running is fun. That or just lazily walking with my friends and chatting because who gives, a, who gives a crap about school when you're a senior, right? Nowadays, I like to run. Well, that was a hike, and now it's spontaneously dark outside. That was a lot easier when I was 11. We passed, what, three gates on the way up here? They, they were kilns, I think. I lost count. Weird. Used to be open back then. Oh, well, like in like actual gates. Did you jump over gates? Oh, damn. Hmm. Ready to go? Not far now, just up ahead. All right. Well, now it's spooky time because it's dark. Oh, there is indeed. Yep, this is the little cemetery for the people who are massacred. Graves, huh? Yeah, these were, um, I forget. They were involved in the possum massacre, though. That, like, labor strike thing where it was, like, the miners versus, like, the National Guard. Happened back in town, like, a hundred years ago. Why are they up here? I think these were some of the bad guys. And some of the miners didn't want them buried in town. Oh, huh. There's like a few old graveyards up here from like colonial times. I guess there's one here, uh, one up here too, somewhere. Well, that's spooky to say the least. Uh, just bones. Ancient shark bones from the seas. Yeah, see, no, nothing left to be scary. So let's just continue on. On our spooky quasi graveyard quest. This kind of looks like a coffin over here. Although it's just a rock, but it kind of felt vaguely coffin like. Very coffin adjacent. And there are more great. Oh shit, dog. A cliff. Wouldn't want to jump off one of those. Wow, we're really high. Totally, dude. And really far out. Totally, dude. I can't see town from here. It's south of us, behind whatever ridge that is. So what, are we just supposed to wait here and see if anything happens? You tell me. You're the expert. I guess we'll just wait here and see if anything happens. Time for what I assume to be a vibe check. Nope, just kidding. Nice night. Yeah. Back at school, I couldn't see as many stars. <laughs> Light pollution, right? That always made me so sad. Oh, yeah, they're really nice up here. I wish I knew the constellations like you did. What? You know all the names of the stories and stuff. I wish. I can never remember them other than... I think that one up there is like a bell or something. No, 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 no. Remember that time we were all at the Longest Night Bonfire? And we spotted the constellations together. And you told us all about them. That's not a thing that happened. Oh, well, maybe it was like a dream or something. God, I barely remember now. I wonder what fake constellations and stories you dreamed up. Okay, humor me. I'll find the constellations and you tell me about them. Okay, then. Let's go find some constellations. Time for another constellation minigame. All right, find me some constellations. Wait, are these going to be real ones or fake ones? Just ones I remember. Welcome back, my love. Playing some night in the woods. Want to chat about the test at all? No. Okie dokie. Whichever. Remember Mr. Chazikov? Yeah, science teacher. He lives in Underhill. He lives in Underhill and has a telescope on his roof. And I totally saw some stars through it. That's cool. Telescopes are cool. Wish I had a telescope. Okay, let's see. I know some 
constellations. I hope they're already marked on here. Are, are they already marked on here? No? I don't... Hmm. Maybe if I just poke one of them. Poke? Poke constellation? Oh. Oh! I need to remember the actual shape of the constell... I am not going to be able to do that. I am definitely not going to be able to do that. However, I will try my best to make fake constellation. No? Oh, okay. It doesn't connect if... Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. So if I don't connect them properly... <laughs> I like that. Maybe this one was all the way down here. No. Maybe this one was like that way. No, of course not. What about this? Nope, absolutely not. What if I connect it together? Yes! Look at that. Ah. It's a cat. He's got arrows sticking out of him. And he's chasing a diamond. Oh, I know this one. Uh, don't remember his name. He lived, um... You remember the stories about the forest god? Yes? No, I don't. Uh, it was like a whole bunch of stories. There was this person, Adina, and... Oh, yeah! Adina and the Frozen Lake! Yeah, that's... That's definitely one of them. Anyway, this cat was in there. And, like, shiny things was good at getting through the forest was really good at stealing oh wow yeah i i used to call him ass cat when i was little well then he stole a diamond from the king and got arrowed to death but he was slick enough that he that he jumped out of his body <laughs> and became immortal or something because that's totally how it works in these old stories yeah huh De decent very decent extremely decent let's find more constellations like this one that I'm going to connect, probably, maybe. Constellation, 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 constellation. Constellation, constellation, constellation. Nope, just kidding. How about that one? Yes, indeed. What about across? No, just kidding. How about down here? Going across the zigzag. No zigzag? No zigzag. What if this one all the way over here, like a big old arrow? No, okay, I'm, I'm lost then. All right, well, there's another constellation. Just, um, no? How about, how about that? Would you like to cash me outside? How about that? Would you would you like to indulge in the caching with your true use truly in the outdoors constellation time? What about what about this big old polygon? Does it go across this way? It looks like a boat. It's a whale. It's a whale. And it's got like the world on its back. Oh well, it's sad. Yeah. Why? Why is it sad? Why does it have to carry the whole world? Like, that's really unfair. <laughs> yeah. That is legitimately upsetting. You gotta wonder why people made these up. I mean, like these, specifically. Who saw a whale and was like, need to be carrying something. I mean, whales are pretty big. And they like, didn't know what the earth was. But they were like, really, really big. But what's the whale swimming in? Space, obviously. I guess it's dumb to get mad at ancient people. Let's find another constellation. Maybe this one's an apple. This one seems apple-like. Nope, apple with a stem? Yes, no, apple with a stem. I'm feeling that. I'm feeling apple. Or some other type of fruit. Or maybe it's an open tin can. Open tin can? Not open tin can. It is the fire-breathing Pope. It's a Pope. He breathes fire. Exactly what I was saying. Oh, this one is real. Or, or, or at least the dude is. Rubelo. There's a statue of him outside church. Oh, we never went there. Did your family go to church? Do you not know your saints at all? You don't know your saints? Well, why don't you know your saints? Nah, none of my family were into it. My saints were all like uh, astronauts and authors. That sounds really funny. Hey. My mom works up at the church now. I haven't gone really since I was like 14 or 15. That's a lie. I was there last session and I was talking to the priest. She all right. Does she mind? She pretends not to. Is there more constellation? There is more constellation. But like, I couldn't figure out this one. Are there more stars out of the side? Where's my other star? Oh, maybe I should have just connected them back together. It's a triangle, dude. Triangles are my favorite shape. 
Three points where two lines meet. It's a bell. That's a bell. That's all the bell. And there's an eye in the middle. Looking at you. Looking at me. Okay, that's um... I, I know this one. It's like little from like Prague rock album covers. I think the world ends when it rings. I think you die when it rings when it's looking at you. Now the world definitely ends. This is the apocalypse bell. That makes sense. It's gonna be like really, really loud. The you're gonna be like, oh no, it's a bell, and the bell's gonna be like, I'm a bell, and you'll be like, oh my god, we're all dead. There's no sound in space, but like. Well, you hear it with your mind. I mean, like, basically no sound. Usually. That sounds really scary for some reason. In space, no one can hear you scream. Well, at least it means we're not going to get rung to death by a bell. This is true. We're, like, way out here, huh? In the park. Yeah, I guess. Spooky. I don't know. It's pretty safe. And the stars are pretty, the sky is pretty, logs are pretty, trees are pretty, the environment is pretty. So you don't believe in ghosts at all? Nah, don't believe in ghosts. Or gods. Or psychic powers, or anything of the sort. Not at all? I mean, there's just no evidence for them. No conclusive evidence. And people have really tried. Did you ever? Yeah, when I was a kid. Tell me about it. So, um, I don't know how much I've ever told you or how much Greg has told you, but I didn't have the best childhood. Yeah, I, I think I heard that. Why was it bad? I don't want to pry or anything, but I'm about to, I'm about to pry, Angus. Um, my dad did not like me and my mom didn't either. And like, um, you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, it's, it's fine. Um, my dad used to hit me a lot and my mom was probably worse. She like wouldn't feed me, which is why I really like cooking now. <laughs> she like, she'd like shove me into the pantry and slam the door really hard. And all this stuff would fall off the shelves on top of me. Oh my god, Angus. I, I didn't know that at all. That's awful. She'd lock me in there for like a day at a time sometimes, or overnight. So I'd like try to develop psychic powers so I could like signal the neighbors or unlatch the door. Didn't work as you might have guessed. Did you ever tell anybody about this? Anything at all? Like, I never did. I don't know why. After a while, I like started feeling guilty for some reason. Like this was something bad I was doing. Like being abused? Angus, that's not your fault at all. You were a kid. Oh, don't worry. I, I know that now. Boy, do I ever. Question. Can I go kick all your asses? Specifically your parents? I'll kick your dad in the nuts, and I'll kick your mom in the face. Like, I've got some experience to F some shit up, and I will totally F shit up for you. Well, my mom is kind of old now. I ugh, still have the visitors sometimes. I have a brother. He's overseas in the army. Really? And my dad left like 10 years ago, so who knows where he is or if he's even still alive. If he is alive, I really don't want to know about it. Angus, I just want to give you a hug. Like, forever. Forever hug. <laughs> well, I was luckier than a lot of kids. I'm just glad I didn't like... Anyway, to your original question. Testing out my psychic abilities in the pantry made me really interested in both paranormal stuff and science. And I joined a skeptic society on the internet, and that kind of ruined a lot of other supernatural bullshit. And it gave me something to solve. Something you could debunk or know. I don't know, it saved me a little bit, I guess. Because when someone does all that stuff to you, it can like make you do some bad 
things to yourself. But anyway, yeah, no ghosts or God. So like, I feel like if I'd been through that, I'd be more likely to want to believe in God or something. D do you believe in anything at all? Um, well, so like the constellations, I, I don't believe there's a whale out there, but I believe that the stars exist and that people put the whale there. Like, I don't know. We're good at drawing lines to the spaces between stars. Like, we're pattern finders. We'll find patterns. And we, like, really put our hearts and minds into it. And even if we don't mean to. So I believe in a universe that doesn't care. And people who do. Pattern finders, huh? I feel like a lot of people don't think they found God. But, like, God found them. Like, when they were having bad times like you did. God never did. I was completely alone in the pantry. But a few years later, Greg did. So, like, the stars can stay up there and not give a shit about us. But this whale is pretty cool. You're an extremely good and smart person, Angus. I try. But I'm no more than anyone else. Aww. Greg's had it... Angus has had it rough. Yep. There's somebody standing over there. I see somebody standing over there. What is what is that over there? Over on the... Uh, d uh, d uh, anyway, okay. Yep. Yep. I should come out here more often. <laughs> yeah. Don't look at him. I... I was gonna say. Who? There's somebody standing behind us. In the trees. I see them. Holy shit! Holy shit! What what do they look like? Tall, wearing some kind of weird coat. Like a utility coat or something. Oh god. That's the ghost. I'm more worried about it being a living person. Standing in the woods, staring at us. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! Well, don't panic. Follow my lead. Hey there. Out for a hike? Nice night. <laughs> gonna say something to me? <laughs> He's not answering. That's a little hostile, right? That's definitely a little hostile. <laughs> I'm bouncing up. Hey! I know what you did! My songs know what you did in the dark! Mate, no, don't don't start this. I saw you! This crystal ball sees all! Okay, we're gonna run now. We need we need to get to the car. But your asthma! I I got an inhaler. The the good kind, too. No one in heaven or earth can stop me when I'm on my inhaler. Okay, okay, let's go. Deep breaths. In out. All right. Rawr! Here we go, here we go, here we go. You're not standing anywhere. I guess we're just gonna run past it. All right, then might as well keep on running. I'm not even controlling it right now. Don't trip over the gravestones. Don't trip, don't trip over the gravestones. You did not trip over the gravestones. Very good job, y'all. And the ghost is not following. Is it, is it moving? Were they moving? Oh shit, there they go. Oh damn, oh damn, the chase is on. Oh shit, the chase is on, here we go. What the heck? Oh, I guess we got back to the car. Oh, God. That might have been deadly. <gasps> oh, well. You okay, big guy? Yeah. Well, I'll be okay in a few minutes. I'm resilient. So, that was it. That was the ghost. Or, it was some weirdo who lives out there. They probably get lots of kids throwing parties back there. I mean... The party went, we went to when you threw up. <sighs> that wasn't too far from here. Why does no... Ooh. Ooh, you good? Whoa, you good, May? May, you all... Oh, did you, did you bump? Did you, did you hit a bump in the road? Is everything okay? Whoa. May, you 
Ah! May. Oh. Uh, what's wrong? Do, do you need me to pull over? Oh, uh, my head. Oh, jeez. Uh, okay, well, let's get you home. No, I need to talk to everyone tonight. What? All of us. I need all of us. I need to talk to everyone right now. I've had an epiphany. And now that everybody is here. <sighs> Thanks for like coming again. We live here. Yeah, you're in my living room. I'll accept the thanks. So, like, do you have an idea what's going on? There's a ghost that's in my head? Or there's a ghost that's following me? Or I really have no idea. I don't know. I'm, we're, gonna, we're not going to try to, like, stick to any particular conclusion here. I have no idea. But there is a ghost. And it's after me. Ellipses. Ellipses? Ellipses? I know you guys don't believe me. It's not that I don't believe that something's happening to you. I just don't know that it's a ghost, per se. Yeah, dude. Like, there are 50 better explanations for all of this. Like what? You have, like, you have, like, sudden stress migraines, or, and you saw something that freaked you out and makes you stress out. I get migraines. And, mate, you've gone through a lot of life changes recently, and... I don't know. Stress does weird things to people. Okay, fine. Fine. Whatever. I'm going up into the woods. I know this thing is there, up there. I know what I saw. And if you don't believe me, that's fine. I'll go alone. You're really gonna, like, hike up past the basketball court? Really? It's late, dude. What do you all care? You don't believe me anyway. I'll go. Angus. Listen, I don't believe in ghosts, but I believe in you. Aw, oh, dude. You're so sweet, Angus. Angus is such a peach. So let's go find your ghost. I was fixing to say something like that, but you said it better. Aw, oh, you guys. It's not even ghost hunting season? Yeah, it's buck hunting season. We're outlaws? Thank you for believing in me. Mostly, I just, like, don't want you wandering around up there alone at night. You could be killed. You could be molested. Something worse, perhaps. We don't want to be just standbyers. We'll protect you. Close enough. All right. We're going to protect you from the molesters. Like, let's hunt some ghosts. Who may also be molesters. Not good. But we'll protect you. You never know what's haunting in the woods up there. Haven't been on a night hike in like a long time. Gotta listen for owls. Why? No reason. All right. I got work in the morning. Let's go catch us a ghost. Ooh. Thoughts. Angus is psychic. But his hat blocks it. He is definitely psychic. Definitely psychic. No clues. Saw that guy. Creepy guy. I wonder if that was actually the same silhouette <laughs> as I saw before. <laughs> before. Goodness gracious. They kept it real. How have I never been back here? Oh my god. Uh, fences work? <laughs> like, nah, people are up here all the time. I came here when I was like 12. What's up here? Just old junk. Trees. Animals. And ghosts, perhaps? Perhaps ghosts? What does it be? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing at all? Okay. I was praying. Wow. Really? Yeah, let's go. Hmm. Could be. If there's any wardens out there, if there's a god coming back from my dreams, may he protect us in our night in the woods. Oh, look at this. Wait, the game's called Night in the Woods, and we're finally having our night in the woods. Wait. What? I think I heard an owl. No, oh, hon. Greg got attacked by an owlby. 
What? When? When we were breaking into that history place? I don't think they attack groups big. Bug. Bug? Nah. Well, if I get mauled to death, I warned you all. I'll punch any owl that gets near you. Aw, oh, thanks, Captain. Big dangerous Greg. Scared of birds. I almost died from that owl. I could have died. Really? Death was upon me. In foul form. We got some upside down minecart. Maybe this train stuff. Wow, look at all this shit. Gotta put all this stuff somewhere, I guess. You remember this from when you were 12, Greg? Yeah, I was scared of it. How'd they even get all this back up here? Who knows? <sighs> What's up? Nothing. Just like all this old, old stuff out here. It's here every night when you go to sleep. So it's out here in the dark. So old. So old, so old, so old. You're just so old that you gotta shake your head at it. Dude, May! I'm fine. I'm fine. We should go back. This is, like, stupid. No. It's fine. Ghost hunt? Woo. Fun. <laughs> the way that May's eyes were squinted was like she was, like, saying it as if it was a mission. Like, no, no, no. Woo. Fun. Hashtag ghost hunters. Hashtag we're not scared. Hashtag there's nothing to fear but fear itself. Hashtag ecto person. Hashtag night in the woods. That's how May was saying it. Like, we're going for it. In the most nonchalant way possible. What the? Huh? Oh my god. Whoa! Whoa! No! No! My hell, he's awake already. Anyone got any juice? No, no, guys. Ah, hell. Guys, guys, wait. Lerv, you knew this was going to happen. You knew the moment you screwed this whole thing up. It ain't like you weren't on the other side of this before. It was a mistake. I owned up to it. Lerv, this is you owning up to it. Aren't I allowed to make one mistake? One mistake? You left a goddamn arm in front of the click-clack. Because of you, God knows what's going to happen to this town. But what was I supposed to do? It was your screw-up. I just, like, stuck. And it wasn't like you were... It wasn't like you couldn't have called any of us. I panicked, okay? I was embarrassed. I sure wish you'd have called me, Lerv. You think any of us want to do this? Guys, we can figure something out. Nothing to figure out. But, but, but I, I got a family. Lerv, don't insult us. You know you don't gotta worry about Genie and the girls. Genie and the girls? Who are you? Who's being killed? Are you being killed? They will com be completely taken care of. They'll never want for nothing. He's not gonna budge with that leg sticking straight out. Ah, hell. Dave, Rick, Benny, guys, you know me. Okay, I'm gonna try to remember. I need to write down those names. So I knew who the hell these people are. Dave. Dave. Rick. Benny. Maybe they're code names. Are they not code names? Oh, this is pretty suspicious. You know me. All right, Dave. You hold them. I'm sorry, Lerv. You know we got no choice. I'd appreciate it if you stopped laying the guilt trip on us. Oh. No, 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 please. Hold him still. No! Where are you going? Where are you taking him? Insert very loud scream here. Hold still. This will get easier if... Insert yet another loud scream. Loud scream number two. All right, he's free. He's free? He's free? Lerv. Ah! Okay, I did that one. Lerv. Ain't no one can hear you uh, this far out. You're just putting yourself to more anguish and... Ag -ag 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 scream. I... Ah, hell. Let's get this over with. Wish you'd just make this easy, Lerv. Oh, God, his bone's sticking out. 
The hell? Shit! May? May Borowski? Run! Oh, they're running. Oh, time to run again. Oh, I, sh I should be running. I think I need to be running. And I can jump. Oh, don't catch me. Oh, oh you can't catch me. I'm a, I am a cat who can run. I got speed on me. I'm not going to let you hurt me, you demon cult thing. What are you doing down there? Is Bone sticking out? You're killing the man. You're killing the man. Maybe you're dissecting him. That's disgusting. Absolute disgustingness. But you won't catch me. I'm the Borowski girl. You cannot catch me. I'm a speedy, speedy, speedy cat. I knew there was something going on in here. There was something weird going on in this town. You know what? At least now I'm satisfied that I know what... Oh my god. That was a gunshot. Du Whoa! I just heard a gunshot. Part 4. The end of everything. <laughs> the hell was... Oh! The look on everyone's faces. Nice. Nice! Yep. I barely remember how to play this. It's like riding a bike. I play this game in my head when I'm falling asleep. Hmm. I like go over the plots of books I read. Ooh, look at that smarty. I try to remember every place I've been ever. In order. Wow. What a, what a transition. We went from potentially demon death cult in the middle of the woods to playing video games, I guess? All right, well, yeah. I, I guess we're cool with that. Oh, I'm playing as... I'm playing as Beatrice now. It's out the window. I don't see anyone out there. Just wait. He'll be back. So we do... Uh, the cop... Oh. Wait a minute. Is this... Is this supposed to happen afterwards? Where is... Oh, no. I hope... You know what? Let, let's just see what happens. So we still have no idea who this is? Oh, um, big guy. Dirty coat. Or several. They could swap out. Oh, you know what? I bet somebody shot one of the guys who was following, and we were all witnesses. I can't tell. Can't tell just yet. Getting dark earlier. What's in the fridge? Okay, so... Angus is here. Okay... So, got brownies for today. I didn't read the rest of that. Want some brownies? I'm making brownies. And, yeah. Maybe lasagna? Brownies and lasagna sound like a very interesting combination that I would be totally down to try. Maybe not the brownies in the lasagna, but perhaps the lasagna and then the brownies, or perhaps you chase the lasagna with the brownies first. Lasagna, brownies, lasagna, lasagna. It's Friday, Garfy baby. Where's the lasagna? John, where's my lasagna? I found one in the freezer. Why all the food? We're celebrating? Need to eat. Everyone needs to eat. Aren't you, like, scared? Worried? Good dinner makes everyone feel better. Someone's got to take care of you. Thanks, Angus. You're, like, extremely good. Uh, no more than anyone else. I'm just wondering where May is. Where's May? I got Germ over here. Germ little guy is here, but not May. Maybe she's laying on the bed. Laying on the bed? Nope. She's nowhere to be nowhere to be found. I'm so tired. I could like curl up on their bed. There's like a whole living area under there. Maybe look in the computer. Maybe not look in the computer. Maybe just talk to my cronies. Germ. I. Played this until I broke one of the sticks one time. That's harsh. I don't screw around. <laughs> stressful time. It was stressful time, senior year. I remember. Sorry about your mom. Thanks. What about you, Greg? What do you got to say for yourself? So, like, no word from her parents? Oh, yep. Okay, something happened to me. Nope. Did you, like, leave a message? It's bad, right? Did you leave a message? This game had a great soundtrack. Very high school summer. I was in like half the bands on it. We're gonna see the blank toads in a few days, actually. Or we were. I I don't know. It might not be the right time to go uh 
see the band now when after this whatever is going on in town guys this is like a bad situation yep yep very bad yes um wait everybody shut up everybody shut up i have an erection it only happens 87 times a day what i heard it too i didn't hear it seriously like what somebody at the door maybe and there's someone standing outside the door what everyone be very quiet Oh my god. Oh my god. Blank screen again? Gunshot. My controller is vibrating. Did I wake up in the wood? What is going on? I'm so confused. Am I dead? Oh my god, I am totally on the verge of death. Am I having an out-of-body experience? Oh. <laughs> well then. This has taken a turn. I wonder if this is my fever dream in the hospital bed as I am recovering from a potential gunshot wound. Maybe I fell on my face. I don't know. Maybe they got me too. Perhaps the rest of the story is told from the perspective of a dead May Borowski. I don't know. These tall pillars, mildly phallic, kind of giving me the heebie-jeebies. This fence over here, it's only got three rungs. It's not a lot of rungs giving me the heebie-jeebies. This lamppost, significantly taller than the one on the back because of perspective, but still giving me the heebie-jeebies. And what happens past the tree? Nobody knows. I knew that one gave me the heebie-jeebies. Fire hydrants? Uh-oh. Never a good sign. A bunch of mailboxes, but no houses in the background. Perhaps this is the... Wait a minute. This is the end of the world. It's part four. It's the end of everything. This is the end of everything. I think I just got it. Apocalypse gives me the heebie-jeebies. Still, those those bushes, the shrubs back there, do they have, like, berries on them? That's pretty spooky. And I don't want to save and quit. No, no, I wanted to check my journal, but I can't check my journal right now. Oh, something's happened. I am fading to the ground, on the ground, laying down on the ground. Controller rumbles. <laughs> my joystick is, like, jiggling. <laughs> the joystick cover is not, like, on there very, very, uh very tightly and it was just jiggling around that was cute that that's a good start that's a good way to start the day to those who are having a bad day the controller jiggled and it jiggled in such a way oh dear here we go god is here in this room i believe that times like this we can call out and know that our cries are heard Ellipses. Ellipses. While we're here, maybe someone would like to say something about May. <laughs> That'd be nice. May's a good girl. She and I explored the stars, and she loved to hear about them. She... I'm sorry. It can be difficult. Anyone else? I've always known May as a kid down the street, a little younger than me, but tough. I've been through, I've been through it the past couple years. Addiction, jail, rehab, divorce, and divorce. Some words, I thought you were young. Or maybe you still went through a divorce. Anyway, I just think it's not fair that May, of all people, should have trouble. Where's the God in that? Where's the higher power? This is all a bunch of bullshit. Thank you, Selma. Ellipses. Ellipses. Anyone else? I'll say something. May Borowski's always been a menace. And I called the police on her more than once. Yep, I did. I hope she wakes up and learns a lesson. That's all I gotta say. Um. Okay. Thank you, William. Yeah, I'll speak up. Go ahead. May was a daughter of all of us on the block. Speak for yourself! 
and sometimes folks in the wrong place at the wrong time. I uh, hope we find out exactly what happened to her. I'm only doing that because he's a Billy Goat. I'll admit, I'm profiling a little bit. We're going with it. Oh, we know. Her friends told us. Yeah, they were out in the woods that night. Down the end of the center avenue. And someone was out there hunting illegally. And they got shot at. And May fell. And she must have fallen off a million times. A million things a million times. All it takes is landing the wrong way one time and... No. Well... I hope she wakes up soon and tells us all about it. See if she remembers who done it. I'm sure she... Can I... Can I bounce up? <gasps> Janitor dude! Oh, everything's fading. What? I am on the hospital. Yo, yes, I got hurt. I got hurt real bad. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't... Didn't mean to interrupt. What's, uh... What's happening to this one? Do... Do we know you? Are you here to clean up? Nah, it's supposed to be fixing the door. In here? Nope! Okay, so... She's gonna be fine. For today, leastways. What? What? Who are you? Janitor. I wonder if he's God. He's just so everywhere. The house... The house is gone. May! Oh, thank God! What did you say, May? It's... Dead. What's dead, honey? Ellipses are dead. Punctuation's behind us. We don't need grammar. Where we're going, commas don't matter. May, honey, you're speaking nonsense. Everything. Everything is just... Characters on a keyboard. Black screen. Fade to black. Suspense. And black tea. Hey, maybe it was all a dream. We can all just live happily ever after. Or not. I don't know. Time to wake up? Time to wake up? Ugh. My bones. They feel like they're broken. I think my bones are broken. Oh, is this me walking through town? Cannot go very fast. Oh, can't go past the tree. Gonna have to go to the left. I can't go the right way. Gonna have to go the left way. Because, I don't know. Squirrels can't jump. Can I jump? Of course I can't jump. On the bright side, now I can't break the law by running on the power lines. Can't do that anymore. Can't harass the squirrels. Can't harass... Uh, what's his face on his porch? Or maybe so I can. Fading along. Making my way towards, um... Oh, this... Maybe this is, um... Angus and Greg's apartment. And I'm out the door. Maybe? Oh! This is... Yeah, okay. Oh, my God. B? Oh, my God. May? I'm back. From potential dead. Holy shit, it's May. It's me. You came back to life! I don't think she was, like, dead. Pizza party! We can celebrate because May's back alive! I am feeling woozy. You should, like, lay down. You can sleep in our bed! I feel weird about that. How, how, how about the couch? Do I have to stop playing? No, no, the sound sounds good. I like the sound of, um, Cario Mart. Her mom said it's okay to keep her here. I'll I'll drive her home later. So she just like wandered out of her house. Yeah, and all the way here. Jeez. Lucky she didn't like pass out somewhere out there. Lucky indeed. I sure hope she's all right. Mhm. Mm Both of you. Shh. Let me get some rest. No th What? It's less noisy if you replace your shishishishes with the th So, how well do you know this guy? We order pizza, what, like, twice a week? 
at least. From up on the highway now, since possibilities closed by. Closed down a little while ago. I thought you two were trying to save money. What? Don't police our lifestyle, B. Okay, well, just as long as you assure this delivery guy is safe. I can spot him through the keyhole. If it's not him, we'll turn off the light. And I guess hide here until we die. All right, well, as long as there's a plan. There's a plan. Plan for the pizza guy. Hello? Look who's awake. It's him. It's the pizza guy. Pizza's here! Nice. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Am I going to take pizza? Take, take pizza. Give me my slice. Eat pizza? Feeling sick. Nope. Okay. <laughs> so... What happened? We called the cops. Your uh, aunt and some guy fished you out in the woods. Out of the woods. You were like, in a coma. Did you die? Nah, just took a very long nap. Nice! Uh, yeah. Nice. I'm gonna, I'm just not gonna eat. I'm gonna give my pizza to someone else. Yeah, anybody want pizza? Anybody want pizza? No? I'm just gonna make a mess of the pie. There we go. I'll make it easier for people to get pie. There we go. I don't, I'll eat the crust. Can I eat the crust? I can eat the crust. It's less food. Nope, still feeling sick. Okay, not gonna eat the crust. All right, then. I had this dream, or like a vision of some sort, or I time traveled. I don't know. I'm like in and out of consciousness. Can you not eat? You should eat. I don't know if I can. Every single time I try to eat, there's this gray fade that happens on the screen, and like my controller won't let me consume more pizza. I don't know what's going on. Something metaphysical beyond me. Sorry, Mom. You scared us to death, honey. Sorry, Mom. We'll come pick you up. No, it's it's cool. I'm I'm gonna just sleep here. B is there? B is here. Okay. I'll I'll be back in the morning. Have B drive you home. I will. May. You love me now, don't you, Ma? Now that you realize you almost lost your daughter. I know. Give us a call if you need to come home. I will. Love you, Ma. Love you, sweetie. Well. I guess money problems are now the least of it because I bet you gotta pay for the medical bills now. Poor, poor May's family. You want a brownie? Nah, I can't really eat right now. Like... I'd puke, but there isn't anything in there. So I'd like puke my guts out. Oh, right. You need your guts. For the moment, at least. However, what don't I need? Apparently, I don't need consciousness. I mean, we were without it for a little while. What are you guys talking about? G Goreg? Germ? Dude! Wild week, huh? Interesting how I never got to go to the graveyard. You could say that. When do we get out of this? I don't know if we're getting out of this. Well, even if we don't, and we're ghosts, we should hang out more. Deal. Jerm? Buddy? Buddy old pal? What even was that game? Werewolf. Shred the Gnar. Three. Wow. I played this at Casey's house, like, years ago. I played it. Yesterday. At home. Cool. You're a weird dude, Germ. We appreciate you. Maybe you know something about what's going on down there. Maybe you're one of the perpetrators. Nah, but I didn't hear Germ's name being told. Being spoken. They've got Wi-Fi? <laughs> nice. It's like we're a real place. At least within range. I don't even have a phone because of this place... It's the 1800s here. Hey, May. Yeah? I'm really glad you're not dead. Me too. Ellipses. Ellipses. Yeah. 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 
Can we all hit the sack? Could we hit the sack? Can we all, like, sleep or something? Gonna, like, wander around the apartment? Can we all, like, hit the sack? Cool. I'll, um, be right out. I'm gonna go hit that sack. And by sack, I mean couch. I mean hitting it. And I mean sleeping on it. Because, and maybe fall into another coma. Hey, kids. Can we? Can we do lights out now? I'm, I'm gonna drop over. Yeah, dude. Sounds good. See y'all tomorrow. You sure it's safe for you to leave? None of this got anything to do with me. No, uh, no weird is following me around. Oh, right. Good point. See ya. Bye, Jerm. Bye, 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 buddy. Sleeping on the couch. Hitting the sack. Do you know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? No. We, uh, weren't talking then, and I thought it'd be weird to bring it up now, and... I was playing this video game. You were, like, dating ghosts or something. Okay. And I was really into it. Played it, like, 24-7 until this one afternoon, and suddenly, like, something broke. Broke? And it was just, like, pixels. The characters on screen, I felt like I knew them. They weren't people anymore. They were just shapes. And their lines were just things someone had written. They never existed. They never had feelings. They never would exist either. And it felt so sad. Like I just lost these real people. And this whole thing we had, it was just me alone. And like that realization, like dumped out of the screen and into real life. He dumped out of the screen. Like the screen just came on up and just right on top of me. Went outside, the tree out front. I looked at it every day. It was like a friend outside the window. And now it was just a thing. Just a thing that was there. Growing and eating and just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by, and it was just shapes, and just like this moving bulk of stuff, and I cried. Because nothing was there for me anymore. It was all just stuff. Stuff in the universe. Just dead. Wow, that's like... Huh. And the next day, there was that softball game. And Andy was the pitcher when I was up. And he was just shapes too. Just like lines somebody wrote. Like nothing in there. And I was so scared and angry. And I just, I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him. Smashing his face in with the bat. Just shapes. Red shapes all over the grass. Oh my god, man. Have you like talked to anyone about this? After it happened, they made me go to therapy with Dr. Hank. Oh, God. He is, like, the worst. And he made me start a journal. A journal? Yeah, I just kind of just said it would be... It would help me able to get my problems thoughts down. All my problemly thoughts down on paper. Did it help? Kind of? Sort of? Uh, but since this whole thing happened, when I'm alone... In a new place, it's all shapes. Like back at the softball game. I was doing fine at college for a while, but I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around people alone. And there was this statue of like the founder or something. And really shitty statue. Like all rusty, rusty metal. And it was these shapes. And he was pointing down at me. You. And I was so... Scared. I didn't leave my dorm room. I either didn't eat pizza or ate entire pizzas at once. I downed cough syrup just to sleep all the time. And finally, I got up the courage to leave. And I came home where everything was fine. Where I knew everyone. And it wasn't just dead shapes watching me. Jeez. Something broke. In my head. In my life. I don't mean the you like whatever but it sounds like you're suffering from some serious stuff and like I, I can help you find some help for it dr hank already tried i think 
Dr. Hank should like stick to family medicine and dentistry and the half dozen other things he does and maybe like leave the mental health services to someone else. Like there are such things as depression and anxiety and alike. I, I don't know what you're going through. It exists. I thought about it when I came home. I just, I felt so safe here and everything made sense for a few days. And then all this, and, uh, um, it's okay. It's gonna be okay. We'll figure this out, you know? I'm so scared. I know. We're, like, all scared. But we're gonna make it. You should get some sleep. Ellipses. I... <sighs> Snore. Oh. Audible sign. Time to go to sleep. I am definitely having a fever dr Just kidding. No fever dream just yet. We're waking up. Waking up inside. Where can I go? Oh, where you going, May? May? Where you going? Oh, no. Bye, guys. Love you. May, you've got me incredibly worried right now. The hole in the center of everything. Oh. May, what are you... No. No, no, no. Let's let's turn back, May. May, let's... Can we... Can we please turn back? No, we can't turn back? Okay. All right. This game has made me do some things that... I'm not... I'm not happy with. Crimes. Investigating things that are very uncomfortable. Going a little deep into feelings that exist inside of our heads. That's a, this is a lot. Oh, no, 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 no. I see, I see the dude up there again. I am not okay with this. No, but I got, got no choice. I got, got to keep going forward. What are you? Are you actually a ghost or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk! Or just stand there menacingly. Fine. Let's do this. I, I really don't. I really don't. Nope. Can't go backwards. All right. Oh, shot by an arrow. Hey, hey, hey. Crossbow. Boom! Get away from me, you piece of shit. You're outnumbered, asshole. Gah, gah, you shot me! And we can all use both our arms. I will personally disassemble you. Whoa, jeez, B! Ah, my arm! Oh, is that how we're doing things now? That's the signal? You okay? Where? Where? Where, 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 did, you, where did you? Where? Where did you? You're like such an idiot. What were you thinking, coming out here alone? I, I had a dream. This, this is all because of me. It is not because of you, May. You had a dream. It is not your fault. You were all dead. Out here, in the woods. Did we actually have that dream? Was that the dream we were having? And it was because of me. I don't recall having that dream. Oh, you, you like, had a dream? Is, is that how we're making decisions now? You had a dream? You're gonna let that decide? After all that's happened, yeah? I didn't... I, I don't even know anymore. Hey. Kiddo. We're out here. Outside your head. Whatever's going on in there, I believe you. But I'm not gonna, like, let you wander off in the woods. To die. Okay. I think that's... I think that's okayable. I think we could just... Just acknowledge that. We're all in this now, like... And even if we weren't, I'd still be out here with you. <laughs> Me too! Obviously. Clearly. Clearly we all would be. Listen, I'm, like, all the family my dad has left, I for damn sure am not dying out here. And you're, God, you're the closest thing, like, I have to a sister. I don't want you to be gone, so you're not dying either. <coughs> That sounds okay. By me. 
Well, he's wounded. Sounded like he went back up to the mine. Yeah. Like, what do we do? Follow him, I guess. Not to go alone. You all wait here. I got... No! No, May! You don't have to go at this alone. That's why you have your friends. Lo and behold, you're going to try to go alone anyway, and your friends won't let you. You all wait here. I'll go. I'll go. Uh, ellipses? 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 Anyway. Yeah, um, anyway. If he's up there in the mine, we might be able to corner him and... Tie him up? Or something? Can you walk, May? I... I think so. Might be a little slow. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. All right. Let's go do something like really stupid. Incredibly stupid. Here we go to the mine. The gate's open. Oh, jeez. What? We could, like, block it. Shut or something? Ah, dang. You're right. No. He, it, whatever. I have to go down there. I gotta go down there. I gotta figure out what's going on with this blood and stuff and the arm. Well then, looks like all of his friends are gone. Just one guy. Just one guy. Just one something. Bang, bang. I'm gonna shoot with another crossbow. Because all of a sudden, Greg has a crossbow. I don't really... I don't think we mentioned that before. Can I access... I can't access my journal. I guess I'll write about this later. I'd have to. Well, this isn't, like, dangerous or anything. But it is, totally. Haha. -ha. Nothing to be scared of down here. Just a party. Just a big old party in the mines. <laughs> yeah. Not too late to, like, throw ourselves into traffic instead. Never. We have to figure things out. The secrets of the town. Oh, excuse me. We're down to the mines, and there's things boarded up and whatnot, and I wonder, can we smell blood? Can we smell the blood of our enemies as they bleed out, wandering down? Oh, look at that elevator mine shaft. It's farther down. Can we even? Can I jump in? Hmm. Looks like he took the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's gonna hear us coming a mile away, for sure. We sure we, like, want to do this? Yeah, man, you sure? Guys, I don't know if you understand. <clears throat> He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying. We're dead already. I... I don't know what's gonna happen down there. Okay, then. We'll come out of this together. Click, click, clank. Here comes the elevator. Up we go, and then down we go, and then... Woo, there. Oof. That thing looks old. They haven't used this in mine in, like, a lot of years. <laughs> Generations, even. Are you our tour guide now? I could go for a tour. Can everybody go for a tour? Go for a tour. I'll use a snack, too. I need to be a snackaroo. We have, um... Possum Springs tourism pamphlets at the shop. And I get bored. This in the brochure? Is there really this old decrepit mine in the brochure? Because I got a feeling if a tourist were to show up here one day and all of a sudden see like, ooh, gonna kill people in a murder cult, then like, I feel like Possum Springs would not be very good with the tourism. Or maybe that's why it's not currently that popular. Well, here we are. <coughs> Yeah, stiff down here. May you okay? I have my inhaler. No, I'm fine. It's just like, it's like something huge is on top of me. I mean, technically, you're not wrong. <sighs> like, is it like asthma? Like the weight of the air getting down to you because we're farther underground? That's how asthma is. It's not asthma, big guy. But thanks. I heard something down there. You gonna be okay, May? Yeah, I'm all right. We should be quiet. Yeah, like, gotta save up for the screaming later, you know? <laughs> yeah, let's keep moving forward, slowly but surely, down into the murder cult mines.
I'm assuming it's a cult. There were a lot of people there, and I assume murder because, like, they murdered somebody. Dave, Rick, Benny. Good to know that they didn't give me a chance to, like, investigate the names. Because I would have been going around everybody to be like, whose name is Dave? Who's Dave? Who's Rick? Who's Benny? Who are you people? Who is Lerv? Who's dead now? Door. Door. Tunnel. Whatever. Here we go. Into the mines. This game feels very real. If I haven't made that comment already. It feels like it, it really doesn't leave out any bits of words that would happen between our main characters. And I really like that. It feels so real. Like, what if there was a murder cult in the mines? There's like pews down here. Aw, oh, jeez! What is this place? <laughs> what is this place? Is there so much going on? Looks like a church or something. And like, junk? Oh god. Oh god. What, like, what is it? It's here. The spirit of the murder demons. Maybe. It's here. Oh, it's definitely here. Oh, God. God is here. And so is... Oh, God, indeed. What is it, May? You're speaking gibberish now. I don't know, but it's here. It's through there. Through the fourth wall. Or, or maybe through some other dimension. I don't know. Let's, let's continue to the left. Let's, let's continue towards the second wall and see if it's beyond there instead. I feel, 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 I feel. Onwards to the gate. For reference, we just shot a guy with a crossbow. And we're trying to find the guy who has been shot with the crossbow, who retreated into the mines. And we're now we're down deep. We're down rather deep in the mines. I know you're in here. Demon murder guy with a crossbow bolt in them. Or maybe it was just an arrow. I'm not so sure. It felt like a bolt. So are we still moving? Say something! Well, how about this? Oh, oh. Well, how about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Sh sh show yourself! Yeah, asshole! We're like five times scarier than you! Oh, God. Oh, there's more. Oh, God! Oh, it's, whoa, there's a chasm! It's the hole at the end of everything! There they are! They're right there! I'm gonna kill them! Eid? You'll do no such thing. We've got Eid, too! Hold on, writing down another name. Eid! I've got your numbers, murder demons! It's out of your hands now. He shot me! Then I'd say we're even. Little girl got shot at the other night. Yeah, uh, sorry about that. That was totally me. You're apologizing? It was a bad call. I'm so sorry. Uh, it's okay i guess it didn't actually hit me so wait wait what the who are you bunch of old boys doing their damnedest to protect their own and their neighbors th th then why are you trying to kill me kill you nobody's gonna kill you all of you are part of this town by family relation or just by being hard workers Contributors! Uh, okay. So, so we could, we could just leave? Well, he brought you down here for a reason. And he's not gonna let you leave until he had, he's had his say. Well, he's already got an arrow through his shoulder. I don't think he's gonna be having much to say in whatever. Ellipses. Ellipses. Wait, so you think that Eid, he kidnapped that kid at Harvest, Harvest. He's been in my head somehow. I'm always tired, constant headaches. He's been following me, following all of us. He, 
Oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What? D oh, God. I've seen this. I have. I felt it. Was Ed Scudder and Jim Dorney who found it. 20 years back or so, after the West Mine closed out past Brittle, Vest Schumacher, last supervisor, was out here when the company locked off the entrance, carved his initials and date in the door. Then you got this mine, the old one. Not even a proper mine, big hole, copper, abandoned, shoot, long before any of us were born. Too close to water, and that water was poison. When the first settlers came out here, that old spring used to be right above where they were standing. But that water dried up. 1992, some men from West Mine come back up here to try bootlegging. Practically built a new elevator. Got the main tunnel cleared. Never found no coal. Just dug deeper and deeper. Till it busts through that wall and finds this place. And Jim walks right on into that hole. Never hits bottom. Ed calls down to Jim. Jim don't answer. But someone else does. I know you heard that voice, girl. In dreams. And in waking times. Swath. Brought you down here. But, and, and what does this have to do with you or me or anyone for that matter? You gotta understand. In those days, it was the end of the world. Jobs, God, our kids were leaving. Government didn't care, only just wanted our votes. Just putting in more regulations, sending our jobs overseas, spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants while we worked ourselves to death. Ugh. Like, here we go. God damn, I hate this crap. You old dipshits. You finished? Yeah, sure. Finished. Fine. We prayed and prayed up at that church. But when Ed Scudder came back down here and listened, he got answers back. Oh God, I think I know. Uh, answers, I know. He's already in there singing to you, right? I, I had explained it to a few folks and they didn't believe it. But he was persuasive. He had that glimmer. The, the glimmer. <laughs> what he takes a shout into rubs off on you. You can do things. I never seen it. But they said Ed could walk through walls. Okay. After Ed talked us all in this. After that first time. After we picked that one out. Well, not only was the town holding stable, but it was almost like we were getting younger. And money came too still a few of us left from back then picked first time you murdered people didn't you first one was tom turner who believe you me you me was a bastard just pure trash we got him down here and in the hole he went next week flowers blooming all over the hills you like throw them in the hole Ellipses. They're feeding him. He's hungry like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so, he starts singing. And it's someone's turn to find someone. Was that what you were doing the other night? Was that what you were doing? You were trying to find someone to bring back here, right? No. What happened the other night was a shame. One of our number broke the rules and had to pay up. That was a hard thing to do. I think I'm gonna be sick. We never pick no one who's gonna be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, and delinquents. You've been, oh God, oh no. Wait, how many people have died down here? Casey, I bet. Casey went missing. Casey? The Harley kid? 
All he was gonna do contribute to society that the bunch of kids growing up with no dad was a rap sheet and a long mile, a mile long, before whatever sad end he'd wind up at. We did him a favor. You, you killed Casey? Oh my God. Uh, uh, no, we don't, we don't use that word. You know, he was taking up business with his cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin? Burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded. They had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was headed. You killed Casey. You gullaburra gallagory. And you want to act like we didn't do him and his whole town a favor? Oh God, Casey's been down here the whole time. His parents put up posters. Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to all this. Which one of you did it? Greg? He was my friend. All right, now throw it down right now or I will shoot. I'm going to shoot mine. All right, I can't even pronounce that one. I I don't know. And the one the number eight. <laughs> what if I get you first? Bolt sticking right out of your other eye. Bang! Bang! I'm gonna get you! You brought guns down here? It's dangerous this far in the woods at night. Basic safety measures. I I Throw it down, son. Don't make this our time. Greg? Dang it! I'm putting it down. They're monsters. None of this. None of this is happening. Oh, it's happening. And we're apparently blacking out. We are not monsters. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Possum Springs survives. Don't fall down the hole. Don't, don't follow the whole hole. You gonna jump? Things can get better. These vines are gonna be humming again someday. Old Mills puffing smoke. You kids don't understand that. We lost what our world was built around. Used to be you. Provided for a family. Bought a house. Now you're stocking shelves at the grocery store. Kids leaving more than they're saying. Opportunity. No opportunity here. Old people dying. Houses left empty. You ever seen that? A home. Become a tumbled in pile of wood and plaster. A job. Become a burned out brick box or a hole in the ground. But we can change that. We can put this place back together. Where it won't be just... Shapes. It won't just be shapes. Pixels of color. I'm gonna die down here. No, you won't. Positive mental attitude. Why are you telling us all this? Because we're getting old. And even with the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood to carry this on while we're gone. Oh, really? Like, you're pitching this on us? Were any of you miners back in the day? Any of you hurting now, financially, like? Or is this just some big costume party murder club? Costume party murder club. Anyway. For someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying? That doesn't matter. <laughs> it does. And this is real bad. This is insane! Why should we help you? Why shouldn't we just call the cops? I bet Aunt Molly is here. I bet the cops are in on it. And say... What? You saw some men you can't identify? In an abandoned mine behind a locked gate? And an elevator that won't run? That you saw a hole? Okay, fine. Why should we help you? Because if no one is here to do this. You remember that flood a few years back? You remember the blizzard of 2010? That's what happens. And before that, the jobs never come back. The kids never come back. Everything crumbles. Possum Springs bleeds to death. And soon we'll all be dead. And this town will just be fields and trees. I've seen it. 
I know you have. I've seen it in my dreams. I'll understand if you need some time to think it over. So we can like leave and get out of here. No one's gonna stop you. But understand that you don't know who we are out there. But we know who you all are. Ain't fair they get to leave and I probably got permanent damage. Shut it, Eid. You don't know a thing about things and what he wants. What he is. I'd, I swear to God. Let's go. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. Son, you leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you. But the truth is, I just don't trust you. Fine, whatever. It's a piece of shit anyway. Could probably trace the bolt back to my thing and get me in trouble. <laughs> I... I can't move you guys. I'll carry you. Wow. Alrighty then. Murder demon cult. I have no idea what to even think about like any of this. It's just... Horror. That's not a word you get to use too often. That's all I've got left. Like, everything else in my head is gone. Let's get out of here. Fast. I don't, I don't know if I... Talk later. Fade to black, maybe? Get the... Uh-oh. Oh, my God. I thought the entrance was blocked. Oh, my God. I thought that I thought that mass of planks on the other side was like, oh no. Okay, I'm gonna have to put you down for a second, okay? Okay. Fade to black and fade back to the whatever. So, K Casey. Yeah. I. Yeah. And for what? I. I think I get it. Whoa, really? Too tired to explain it right, but... Like... They lost what they thought was gonna happen. They lost what they thought was gonna happen. Which was what had happened like a long time ago. Or how they remember or like picture it. And things it gave them. And so Casey and that kid at Harfest and... Sorry, I... I lost it. That's more sense than I can make of it. They're sad. It's all really sad. You ready to go again, Angus? Yep, sorry. Wait, everybody shut up. What? Shh. Thought I... I hear voices out in my hallway. But, oh, things made to black. Oh, shit. Oh. No, you're taking me! What's wrong? No, I have to do something. Wait, X button, X button. Okay, I'm clicking the X button. Don't do it. No, don't take mine. Don't take my mate. I will let you. I will let you take me. Oh my god. Who? Oh my god. Is that? Wait a minute. I recognize that person. Is that? Oh my god. Arm fell off. Oh damn. Okay. We lost an arm. Was that Mr. Chazikov? That looked like the little frills on the top of Mr. Chazikov. Holy shit. Is everyone okay? May, May, are you, are you okay? May, say something? <laughs> May? So, <laughs> oh it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I've, I've got you. <laughs> He's gone now. Shit, how are we gonna get out of here? Shh, give her a minute. I feel air coming from somewhere. So, we're not gonna suffocate. Okay, well, like, that's a relief. How do you... I was a scout, Greg. I was a scout. Hey, a Angus? Yeah. I love you. No. Welcome back, man. You okay? Better now that I almost got murdered. <laughs> Again. Which is weird. 
That was like the third time in two days. Third time's the charm. Gotta be airs coming from back here. All right, I'm up. You sure? Yeah, I think I can walk at least. It's boarded up a long time ago. Can we get through? Let's find out. Okie dokie. Let's get out of here by prying back these boards. Yeah, pull, pull board. Pull board? Nope, pull board. Eee Yo, we all roll together? Eee ah, pin on the board. All right. Let's uh, let's get on out of here. It is dark. Yep. That's some fresh air, all right. <laughs> I can use my bear sense. And water. Dude, that's amazing! You can smell water. Hopefully it's not a river. Cave rivers are death traps. Mine river! We're in a mine. Right. Walking right along, trying not to think about mortality right now. Well, this is pretty pretty crazy. Damn. People almost died. I honestly... I, I, I had this doubt inside of me that we were going to get off scot-free. Hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're going to die in a foot of water. Right. So let's... Is it a foot? It looks like it gets deeper. I can see that it gets deeper. No, okay. Well, okay. That's that may be about a foot. A foot? Not like two feet, maybe. I don't know how small you are. But like my legs themselves are like maybe two, two and a half feet. Whoa! Okay. Oh. Oh dear. Okay. I'm in the water. I know what you are now. I think I knew before. But you know, after I sent that kid to the hospital. Years ago, they said I had an anger problem. But that's not true. I was angry because of something else. Something I'd lost. Trying so hard since not to be angry. Got me all defenseless. And I lost more and more and more. That's not getting better. I want to be angry. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college on the bus, I had this dream. Or maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree, finally blown off. I'm so scared all the time. And the fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over. It was over long before I got here. So long hiding or trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. When my friends leave, when I have to let go, when this entire town is wiped off the map, I want it to hurt. Bad. May, are you okay? She's not okay. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again. Because that means it meant something. It means I am something, at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something, at least. <laughs> you know, I can't understand you, right? Oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end, but I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're going to kill me right here... Then do it. If not, fade to black. Oh my god. May. Dude, you okay? Whoa. You got all sleepwalky for a moment there? You want me to carry you? No, I think I'm good. I'm just very... Very tired. Hang for a bit if you need to. We're safe. Uh-huh. Hey, there's light over there. Did you smell that? I bet he did. Something something thumped? Was that a thump? Was I responsible for that thump? I don't know if I was responsible for that thump or not. Hey, pals. 
Oh, thumpity thump. Something fell? Maybe? I don't know. I'll, I don't need a moment. I'll just keep on going. We don't... Oh, shit, look at that. Oh, is it? It's the well. That collapsed, right? I wonder. What's this? Might be a uh, vent or something. Keep the miners from suffocating way back when. Looks old enough, at least. Hmm? For sure. Hello? We're down here. Don't ask us why, please. Could get lucky and someone's out here in the woods at night. I, I, I can try to make it out. No, I can like... Mm. Okay, yeah. Uh, you up for this? Yeah? No? No. But that doesn't really matter. I was gonna say, if I said no, would I have been able to explore a little bit more? I wonder. But that doesn't really matter. Because I'm even less up for us starving to death. Aw, oh, dude! Thanks, man. That's, like, really nice of you. Okay. That's assuming I can even do this. We'll watch. Okay. So, uh... Oh, right. I can just do this. Ah, ha, ha. I can bounce up the things because I've got super dexterity. Super dexterity. Up the well. Up the well. Yeah, up the well. I'm going crazy in my brain. In my brain, we're all a little bit crazy. A little bit crazy on the inside. It must be the well. What if I fall? Well, I guess that'll be it then. Anyway, this is the well. I managed to jump out of the well. Oh, can I? Oh, yeah. Got on up. Out of the well. Now I can go get help, maybe? This place. Uh-huh. Hey, May. Germ? Yeah. What are you doing out here? I live right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. We were all stuck down there. You at the bottom of the old well in my backyard? It's been a really bad night, Germ. Let me tell you. It sounds like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah. Well, can you go get it? Here I go, we're germaling. Hey, May. Yeah? Was that Germ? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What is he doing out here? He lives here. In the woods? In the woods. Germ saved the day. <gasps> My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I brought some sodas. You're the best, Germ. Seriously. Underrated side character. You need some sugar and caffeine. That we do to let us recover from this. I can use some sugar and caffeine. Oh, uh, anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yup. Germ, can you, like... I, I don't know. Seal up this well? Mm. I got dynamite. What? Yeah, I mean, I can, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, not, not small. Okay, that works. Dynamite's cool. Thanks, Germ. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Um, okay. Bye, guys. Bye, Germ. Deus Ex Machina. Someone comes to save us all at the last moment. There goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Germ is good. Germ is a good man. Anyway, it strikes me that we just, like, murdered all those dudes down there? H how do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator is broken, and we caused a cave-in? That was self-defense! I guess, but we did cause the deaths of, like, a dozen guys? No, 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 they're all still alive down there. Why are you so confident? Oh god. Yeah. Jeez. Well, we're blameless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us? So, we're worrying about, like... It's morally gray. We're not murderers. Like, if we had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. 
I would have. Angus? Uh... What? They... They killed people. They were trying to get us to kill people. Screw them. I don't even believe in hell, and I hope they all go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think, at least. Hmm. This is like that trolley thing. What trolley thing? Oh, well, I'll, I'll explain it if we keep walking. Then let's keep on walking. Trolley thing. Trolley thing? Trolley in a car? That was... Interesting. Wow, hey guys. Um, are you there? Anyone? I certainly wouldn't be on my computer. Okay, I'm gonna type it anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell even just happened? Easier for me to get it all out there. Okay, and I need to talk. Even if you jerks are off doing whatever. None of us asked for any of this. And it didn't happen to us because we're like, special? You can work as hard as you want, but the universe is gonna keep doing what it does. And I don't think any of us deserve all this. This is all stuff that started long before we were born. It's all like moving so fast and you're dropped into it and you're just trying to grab onto something. All of you were what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kind of killed that guy to save me. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. <coughs> Lol. However, I don't know if I'm ever gonna understand what all just happened. I hope it stopped. I just feel right now like all I want to do is wrap my arms around all of you. Not just because I love you, but to keep you all together with me. Wrap up into a ball. No one can hurt us. Sorry, I'm rambling. Ramble a lot sometimes. Germ, buddy. Germ, you don't even use Messenger. I guess I'm just typing at you wherever you're at. Be you're definitely something. I'm so sorry about what you've gone through all gone through. I don't even understand all your problems and but if I could help fix them, I'd fix all of it. And I'd buy the tools to do it from your store. Or like borrow them at least. You know, brand exposure. A better friend would buy, but I'm what you got. And I'm glad. There it is. Now, I'm just gonna erase all that. Cause, man, embarrassing. Oh shit. <laughs> Guys, I was just kidding about a lot of that. I'm really tired, I don't know what I'm saying. Log off, May. Log off. Click the log off button. Wow. Does it keep going? That was pretty intense. Changing uh, the seasons. And I'm up in my bed. Wowza. What a time. That's pretty interesting. Was that the, Im the impossible night? Was that what it was supposed to be? That's the longest night? That's what it's supposed to be? There must be more. But before I go to more, I'm going to take a break and determine what else is going on. That was something. Wow. We got some interesting stuff here. I'm liking this so far. Anyway, better go on my, my lunch break. So I'll be back in a little bit. If we're all feeling a little... If the party's kind of... A little dreary, everyone's silent. Let's just vibe for a moment. And then we'll get right back into it. Be back in a jiff, y'all. Hello, everybody. And welcome back. Uh, this is a little sudden. But I'm actually going to end things right here. I'd like to thank everybody so much for joining me for this. That was something. That was wonderful. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, night, evening, twilight, dawn, whatever it may be. Party on till next time, y'all.